Hi, folks. I'm Leslie. You may know me from my cat avatar in the Twitter or Discord. Uh, well, after I submit this talk, I kind of realized it's a really poor name. It's kind of like marginally better than RAI, but not much better. So what do I mean by required field for designated initializers? There are no collusion whatsoever, but it happens my talk is very related to the previous talk that I'm also talking about the Vulkan API, but most uh, generally, a new generation of say APIs often pass parameters as structures. It is quite a nice idiom because you can, you can mimic the named or optional uh, parameters with this pattern. However, the safe way of doing stuff has its shortcoming. You can't force people to use brace initializations. In this way, we just create an object and then boom, we have the undefined behavior because some field is not initialized. Also, there is not always the right default. For example, in the Vulkan API, there is always the S type field for every create infrastructure. And it is an enum. And also it's paired with a void star pointer. That is the C's way of doing dynamic polymorphism. However, when we actually need to use the graphics pipeline create infrastructure, every time the client side need to fill out the exactly same S type to this struct, which is very error prone, also tedious. C++ we can do a much better job than C, so yeah. Uh, we have default member initializers and we can just fill all our structs. Let, let's see if we want to write a hypothetical wrapper for the C API for better safety. And also we can give a default value we want for the S type. However, this approach still has the problem. Sometimes no default makes sense. For example, in this particular case, we have, if you're familiar with Vulkan API, you probably know that to create a pipeline object, you must have a pipeline layout object because it is like the type information for the pipeline. Similarly goes to the render pass. Uh, as a result, if you just, just pass some default, then the code will guarantee to crash, which is much better than undefined behavior, but still not ideal. So a solution kind of natural come to C++ developer is probably using constructors. Constructors are nice. However, they disable the aggregate initialization. So we kind of fall back into this two-stage initialization where we call the constructor and then do a bunch of assignments. So yikes, not nice. I was pondering this problem for a while, and then just this Monday, I just suddenly have this idea of creating this little required field wrapper class that wrap the value and contain one single, single argument constructor. Then let's say if we have our struct, and then we can just use a required field to wrap all the wrapped all the uh, fields that we want users to always pass a value in. And then everything just works. Since our constructor is implicit, then we the user, user side doesn't even need to know that we use this required field struct behind the scene. If we already use this graphics pipeline create infrastructure in production, no code need to change on the client side. But that is pretty nice. So I think the explicit, uh, implicit constructor here is just fine. So shh, don't tell Jason Turner I said that. Uh, if you really don't like the implicit constructor, then feel free to remove it. Then you just need to let the client side use required field explicitly every time. Thank you.